Quinn's building again, this time through Marla. Can I just say there, I think what Harlequins have done really well these first couple of lineups. They lost a couple of balls last week. Sam Riley's first game in starting. They've taken a front ball every time. Just give him confidence, get him there and win the ball. First and foremost, as a lineup, you've got to win the ball. Terrific kick again, sail under pressure. Tyrone Green's all over it. Just a fleeting moment. The probing kicking of Marcus Smith and Tyrone Green, king of the poachers. One more surge, again it's Dupree driven back. Extraordinary stuff this from Quinns. The crowd right in behind them. Another powerful effort from Johnny Hill. This is brilliant from Quinns so far. Sale just have to go a little past wider. Because you see how many Quinns defenders are in there. There's six, seven in there. Yeah, they're so narrow, aren't they? But they know what's coming at the moment. There's no variety just yet. Dugdale again, this time he's driven back. Sale with a penalty though in their pocket. Forward to the line, bustling onwards. Feeds it back. Carpenter takes it on. Nick David is in there as he tries to smuggle it away. Still playing with that advantage, Sale. Endless possession, endless phases. Advantage. Curry now, what a massive tackle that is from Marla. Out it comes to Ford, patience here. It'll tip on from Dupree, knowing that the whistle would be blown. Brilliant defence from Harlequins. Off the line, yes, they gave a penalty away at the end, but they'll probably take that. They're on the board at half-time. Half -time. And it's Marla, who's the beneficiary of the... Um, the line out and Kerr fires it away. Quinn's immediately onto the front foot here and Smith chancing his arm through the hole and stepping Gus War and delivering it on a plate for Kerr who twists and turns. Quinn's 9 and 10 in harmony. Marcus Smith, that flash of magic, the X Factor everybody talks about. And that is. Try number 84 in the Premiership for Danny Kerr, but Gus War left stranded and Kerr having the wherewithal to ride that challenge. Kerr still probing that short side and Will Joseph is sniffing, that's gone forwards from Roebuck. Harlequins have it, one back by Evans. Marla. Opening things up, Cunningham South, that's glorious, oh, and he attempts it. Intercept from Reed. Was that a deliberate knock-on? <laughs> Ten minutes in the bin for Aaron Reed. <laughs> Cracking noise. And a lovely work move at the line-out. Cunningham South is not too far away, bundled in the end. Tempers running pretty high and they bust through the hoarding. Well, Nasty nice stuff. There's an elbow on the throat there deliberately. But will need to be looked at. Your forearm in your uh, in your neck. So it's penalty against you, okay? He's lucky there, he should just take the penalty and say thank you, sir. That's a yellow card in my book. So Harlequin's looking to capitalize. Oh. Cunningham South at the heart of things again. Sam Riley with the ball tucked under his arm. Here's Riley! Harlequins cut loose. The stoop on their feet. Could that be the game breaker? Carpenter's kick. Smith across and brings in Tyrone Green. A little bit of space opening up here. Murley. He's got Green alongside him, and Green feeds Joseph for the bonus point try, and surely the match. That's a brilliant finish. It's a, it's a loose kick by Sale, and that's exactly what Marcus Smith wants. If he's in that fullback position, he can look up with his mate Tyrone Green outside. There's two, not two more dangerous players in the Premiership at the moment. And that Sale line is under siege once again. Baxter pops it out, a little bit more width. Vanessa Hazen looking to wrestle his way forwards. Advantage offside. 
Penalty given up. Now potentially some width. Joseph, bouncing one, and grounding the ball. A second of the night for Will Joseph. A fifth for Harlequins this evening, and the route is almost complete. Gets the ball on a standing start, accelerates through, then runs over a second row hill, goes into the corner. The last knockings here for the visitors, but once more a turnover. Once more the arm raised in Harlequin's direction, and the game is up. From a Quinn's defensive point of view, this has been brilliant. I think it's the first time they've not conceded a try in the Premier League game one over two years. Quinn's the winners in emphatic style. They've taken down the lead leaders, and they jump into second place for now in the Gallagher Premiership. Terrific job done. Five tries scored, the bonus point in the bag, and Sale sent packing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any Gallagher Premiership rugby action.